Al and welcome back to my channel and happy skincare Sunday. I'm so excited to see you guys and talk all about brand new products that have just hit the market and I've been trying out for about two months, most of them about two months. Now I guess that wouldn't mean they just hit the market, but literally you probably just started hearing about them and I've gotten a lot of questions about these specific guys. So get some tea, get some water, get some coffee, and let's hang out and talk about all new skincare goodies. And before I get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video so somebody think might like it, and let's do it. All right, so we are gonna start with some new cleansers that I am trying, and just so you know, we are doing the gamut of price ranges. So it's not all high end, it's high end to more affordable uh, since I've been trying some really fantastic affordable products. All right, so cleansers. Let's first start with this one. This is the new Pixie Skin Treats Rose Cream Cleanser. Uh, it has calamine flower, so it's gonna be soothing, as well as rose extract. And this is definitely a milky, gentle, I would say this is like a more of a morning cleanser or a second cleanse after you've done your double cleanse. The price tag on this is really fantastic, and of course I'll list all the prices as I'm speaking about things. Um, but this is definitely a, you know, you know me, I don't love to spend money on cleansers, but I'm going to tell you about them. Um, and it is just a really great, uh, product to be honest. The ingredients are okay. Um, they're not super spectacular, but again, it doesn't sit on your skin for very long, but, but I will pull your attention to this. It does have, um, let's see here. It does have safflower oil. It does have glycerin in it. So it's going to be hydrating. I love that the first ingredient isn't water. It is an aloe leaf juice, which I think is fantastic. Water is about the third, fourth ingredient in here. Um, the rest of them have, you know, avocado oil, um, some other types of like sunflower oil, wheat germ, rosewood oil, uh, you know, things of that nature. So this is going to be a great cleanser if you're looking just for a general cleanser that's going to be non-stripping and uh, super hydrating to the skin. It looks like it has natural occurring essential oil fragrance in here, but when you smell it, you can't really smell it. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's nothing to it. Um, and I will show you that it has this kind of milky like texture to it. So it's really hydrating, really calming to the skin. And um, I've really been enjoying it. So it's a good cleanser. All right. For the second cleanser, this is going to be from my friend. Her name is Charlotte Cho. She actually created this line. She is one of the inventors of SoCo Glam. And it's called Then I Met You. She has her own little brand and it's so beautiful. The packaging is just to die for. This is her licorice root, green tea, and rice fermented PHA. Remember, that's an acid, but it's a very gentle acid of cleanser. So uh, this is gonna be, for my opinion, more normal to oilier skin types. Since it does have an acid in it, more normal to dehydrated could use this, but more on a kind of every once in a while basis. The directions do say to use it after your cleansing balm, which she has and we're gonna talk about in a second. Um, it is really kind of a, um, just a very kind of general cleanser. This also I think would be fantastic for men. Um, I'm looking forward to giving this actually to my husband and seeing how he likes it. Uh, but overall really nice product. I've enjoyed it. But again, um, for me, I don't, it is really gentle. I don't want to scare you off by saying that. Um, it has green tea in it, so it's an antioxidant, so it is going to help, you know, with that on the skin, as well as rice fermentation. So all great things for the skin. I just find it more beneficial for those type of skin, that skin type. All right, so let's move on to this cleanser. This is a new cleansing balm, again, by the same brand that I met you. It's called Living Cleansing Balm, and this is really really fantastic. It actually does have a great color in here. Has hardly any scent to it at all. Um, it is formulated, it's vegan, I mean it is cruelty free and it is formulated non-toxic. It does remove makeup really, really well. I've used it a couple of times as you can see here and you only need a little bit. So this probably is going to last me for four, five months, six months. Um, and it does have a uh, sea berry oil in it, grape seed oil, vitamin E, and persimmon in it. So it's all really hydrating, nurturing ingredients to the skin. All skin types could use this. I find this very beneficial and soothing to the skin. 
It does a nice job on removing makeup as well. All right, let's stick one more in the uh, cleansing category. This is by a brand uh, that Detox Market actually carries. They sent me this. I've used this just a couple of times. Again, a little bit goes a long, long way. Um, this brand I think is called Pia? Pia? Not quite sure. This by Bad Boy is one of the cleanest, cleanest oil cleansers I've ever seen. I mean, it is vegan, cruelty-free, and it is... Uh, organic as well and it's certified all of these this is there's really nothing in it but a bunch of amazing freaking oils for your skin and how big is this, this is huge um, and it is basically rose hip oil its main base is rose hip oil so it's going to be now again you don't leave this on the skin but it is does smell like rose hip oil and you can use it around the eyes it does do a great job with makeup um, but again if you're looking for that brightening any little bit helps and I just have been really Really, really enjoying this cleanser this one I have not used as long as some of the other ones and again I'll tell you as I go through them um, but this is really been something special if you guys haven't heard of this brand check it out I'll link it below all right so let's move on to some treatment products this is from glow recipe this is something that's been talked about a lot recently and it's the pineapple sea bright serum. Um, I have had the pleasure to be using this for two months. Now you know I don't love to use leave-on AHAs and BHAs, but since I did not have my normal products, I felt that my skin did benefit from using a leave-on AHA. Now I only use this once or twice a week, um, but I also need to try new products for y'all, so um, I did have the pleasure of trying this out. So let me talk you through some of this product though. All right, so what's kind of interesting about this serum is it's very along the lines as the Tatcha uh, vitamin C and AHA serum. The price tag on this is $49, so it's a little bit high, obviously, but it is a potent, lightweight vitamin C and AHA serum concentrate. Uh, it also has soothing pineapple juice and hyaluronic acid for obviously brightening. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free, which I think is also to note. It also has calamine in it, which again is going to be calming. Uh, pineapple juice, juice, though, for me, I think they messed up on the wording here where it says soothing pineapple juice because pineapple juice is an acid. And again, acids meaning exfoliation, cell turnover, so brightening and more even skin tone. So I don't think pineapple juice is a necessarily soothing, but again, the the calamine absolutely will be. Now, when I used it, this is definitely a very effective vitamin C and AHA serum. You can feel a tingling sensation absolutely when you put it on. It's nothing aggressive. It feels very much like the pharmacy or the drunk elephant night framboise. Uh, this product is though certified uh, Sephora you know, Sephora Green, so that's good. You can know that it is formulated without majority of those nasty ingredients, but the fragrance in here, now I can't tell, I'm trying to see in the ingredients. The, I'm, oh, so, so the, I will tell you though, the ingredients towards the end, in my opinion, are not super amazing. I wish they would get rid of the dimethicone. I don't think it has a place in serums and uh, it has fragrance in it. Now, again, I don't know if it's synthetic. It smells synthetic to me, but I don't know. The smell is quite, it's quite apparent, all right? But I, again, I don't know if that's from the actual pineapple juice, so they have to put that in as a scent, or maybe it's an essential oil, or they just enhance the scent with, you know, some fragrance. But it definitely, it's on, it, you can smell it when you put it on the skin. So if that bothers you, that's something to note for sure. As well as it does go away though after you have worn it for a little while. Last thing kind of, and again, this is just if you are sensitive to it. And again, my, this is my personal belief that you know, dimethicone just does, there's not a lot of place in my world for dimethicone, but there's two different types of it. And for $45, I think they could have formulated, now again, I love this brand. This brand is fantastic, but they could have formulated this a little bit better, or the, the price should have been a little bit uh, less expensive. Just 
my two cents. All right, so let's go into this bad boy, which I've been excited to share with you all. This is the Glossier, and this is their Super Pure Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. And you know how important uh, niacinamide is to aging skin, overall skin brightness, calming redness down, um, overall anti-aging, and this is, in my opinion, a beautiful, beautiful serum. I have been loving this. Now how I've been incorporating is not every day. I've been using it sometimes at night and sometimes in the morning. Again, I didn't have all of my serums, so I did use this fairly often. I would layer a, um, I would layer my Inky List peptide serum first, and then I would layer this over it, and then my vitamin A by osmosis, and then I would kind of switch back and forth and then put a vitamin C with it, etc. So I've really been enjoying this. This is a very clean product. There's not a ton of stuff in here, and the consistency of this, in my opinion, is really special. It's very runny, so it really sinks into the skin very quickly, and you need very little of it. Um, and it just makes the skin feel good. And it, again, it just, I can't kind of, I can't explain to you how quickly this goes into the skin. So my oily skin girls, my combination skin girls that do not like heavy serums or multiple serums, you're looking for lightweight, effective serums, this one might be one to try. There are two more that they sent me that I have not tried yet. It's a vitamin C and then something else, I think it's an acid serum. And I will let you know as soon as I get a chance to try those out. All right, so let me give you a quick update though on this guy from the Inky List. This is the multibiotic, so it's a probiotic and prebiotic moisturizer. I have been using this for a while now, and I've really liked this product. Again, it's, but I would say that it is definitely hydrating, but as I kind of got back into being in Colorado weather, it, for me, it's not enough moisture. It is um, more for, I'd say, normal to oilier skin types, but it is a good moisturizer if you have already hydrated underneath, you know, first. And again, you can't be beat these price points. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But I wanted to give you an update on that uh, just because for me, it has not been hydrating enough, um, but still really enjoying it. Speaking of moisturizers, I got a lot of questions to talk about the new launch from Tatcha. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Um, I will say that they sent this to me on my trip and I have been loving this, okay? Because I have run out of my Biosense Omega moisturizer. Um, but this is super hydrating. I have it on today. Um, it's definitely more for normal to dehydrated skin. This is going to be too heavy of a moisturizer for somebody that is a little bit more on the combination to oilier skin types. It is super hydrating. It has their Hasai 3 complex in there, which is in their essence. So it's full of you know, algae and rice and uh, just some really great ingredients. Now, again, they do have some essential oils. So, you know, their products are cruelty free and they do have essential oils to fragrance their products. It is not a synthetic fragrance, just so y'all know. Um, you know, I think Touch is a fantastic line. Of course, there is some ingredients in here that I am not super into, but for me, it does definitely work on my skin. And since you guys were asking me about it, I just wholeheartedly, just it smells like Tatcha, which I love. I, I just enjoy using this cream. It is stunning. They've done a great job on this cream and um, really, really love it. So if you are more normal to dehydrated, get a sample of this. See how it works with your skin. I do have a video that I used all Tatcha actually for their whole line exclusively for a really long time. And my skin really enjoys this line. So none of the other ingredients really bother it for that, uh, for just for that namesake. But I, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful cream. If you are on the Tatcha bandwagon or have super dry skin or live in a dry climate, this might be your bond to get. All right. Let's talk about this right here, which is the Pixie Skin Treats T-Zone Peel Off Mask. It's a pore purifier. Um, I have used this a couple of times, and again, the price point is so fantastic. You can pick this up at your nearest grocery store, uh, you know, drugstore like Target or whatever. I find this mask to be very effective. 
if and it's green just so you guys know um, you put it all over the skin you let it sit and then you can peel it off so what it is is basically a detoxifying mask so what it does is it helps kind of dissolve impurities along the t-zone area so if you are very prone to kind of um, pro you know prone to blackheads breakouts oiliness congestion in general in this t-zone area and you want something cost-effective and that it does actually work and it's not too aggressive this might be a great one to use um, it says basically to use it one to two times a week. I agree with that. I don't know if I would necessarily use it two times a week, uh, maybe once. It does have a green superfood blend in here, and um, it does have uh, avocado blend in it, which is part of the superfoods we talked about, as well as cucumber, aloe, green tea, and bamboo extract. And again, uh, this just kind of helps with uh, decongesting the pores. Now, is anything going to be as good as really using a great acid or getting a great detoxifying facial? No, but man, to keep that up at home, teenagers, beginning to skincare, um, just to add to your arsenal for a really great price point, this might be a great one for you to look into. All right, we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. Okay, for the last couple guys. I've been trying the A Cosmetics Confidence in a cream, neck cream. Um, I haven't noticed a tremendous amount of difference, but I have only been using this for three weeks, I'd say. Three or four weeks. Yeah, about three weeks. Mm -hmm. So about three weeks. So to be honest with you, I don't think you would ever see a difference in a neck cream that quickly. I don't know if I've ever really seen a difference in a neck cream. I'm going to be real honest. Do you know what I think works the best are those pads that you wear at night? Um, you know, they're the silicone pads that I've talked about. I think those are probably your best bet. And uh, they are going to hold everything in place while you're sleeping or on your phone or whatever. Um, I think that's really only, you know, going to be the product that works. But I'm going to continue to use it. I'll let you know if I really see a big drastic difference and not. Um, Tatcha just did come out with a neck cream that they have had some really amazing clinical studies and tests and done and results. So I'm looking forward to hopefully trying that in the near future. Um, so yeah, so we'll see about neck creams. All right, for my last two bad boys. Oh, I have three, sorry, I have three. All right, so this one, I, you guys have tried to ask me about this. This is the Ren Clean, S Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. Actually, which is interesting, I thought, isn't, uh, isn't uh, the pharmacies called green, cre green screen? It is. That's interesting that they kind of used a very similar name to uh, the pharmacies. SPF. Interesting then. Now this sunscreen, I will tell you that it is very, it's good. It's a good sunscreen. It's 30. Um, it is no chemical UV obviously. So this is going to be a physical um, SPF. Uh, it has no silicone in it y'all. So if you're looking for something with no silicones in it, uh, this is something that I'd reach into. This is a 22% zinc oxide. And you know that Ren is a cruelty-free line, non-toxic, etc. I've been a big fan of Ren for a long time. Um, the list of what they don't have in it is longer than the list that's in it, so which is fantastic. And they have made a commitment to using different types of plastic. And I want to read this to you. It says tube made from 50% post-consumer recycled plastic. Um, and it says cap made from 100% post-consumer recycled plastic packaging and it is a vegan sunscreen so they've also made a commitment to making sure that they use less plastic and uh you know be better ways of their impact on the environment which i love but this sunscreen i you know what i wish i could give you guys products that i've tried once honestly i wish i could just ship them to you but i feel weird about that i don't know because who wants products that have been used but this i've used a couple of times now it comes out real white okay i'll show you real white and then i'm going to show you when i put it in a little bit goes a really long way and i'm just going to pull this down my arm um the i think the white cast would go away on anybody that is of fair to medium skin um i don't know i would love to hear from you guys because look at this it's completely gone the white cast so i never saw it on me i would love to know from you guys if you are of deeper complexion if you've tried this and how the white cast looks please for our community it would be really helpful but it is the most mattifying sunscreen i have ever tried okay i don't personally need a mattifying sunscreen but if you're looking for one it is a beautiful sunscreen 
lightweight, well formulated, um, really great protection, and I used a lot. So you can use the proper amount, which we know is about a teaspoon for the whole face, and then you know half a teaspoon for the rest of us. Um, I think that you would really enjoy it if you are more oily combination, even normal. It just for me was too dry. Uh, I mean, not dry, but too mattifying. But boy, it's a very, very pretty sunscreen. It really is. Um, and so I'm happy to see them. I know that this took a long time for them to formulate. So they've a lot has gone into that product. Um, all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, If you do, I will start doing more product reviews like this. Um, I just think maybe kind of it was amazing that I had the time off from all my regular products to try some really new things for quite a while and let you know kind of what my feedback is on that. So thank you again all so much for being here and I will see you on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.